What is going on, guys? We are going to be doing the squat punch combo. Very simple, but you know you can change this up to a hundred different variations. I'm going to show you a few. The band you're going to be using is the band you do with the spin, uh, the curls on the spin bike, right? Because it's a little bit longer, but it's chopped in half, so there's a lot you can still do with it. You're going to put the rubber on the lower part of the back. And then from here, you can do a ton of stuff. You can do some squat punch combos, right? And you can do a kick punch combo. So left kick, right punch. Tons of stuff you can do here, but it's going to be on command or in a blitz type fashion. So in other words, every 15 seconds, you're going to be swapping that up on. You may just do two kicks and then reset, right? And But here's cool because... That they have tension on this band that's kind of keeping everything intact up here and really showed them where they need to have their hands in a fight position anyways. But they have the resistance they're going to be punching against. You may just do 10 punches, right? Or just do, just tell them, don't tell them 10 punches, tell them repetitive punches. Maybe 10 and they reset. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10. Reset and then start over until you get them to swap up whatever station there is. Now, another thing you can do from this position is grab that band Make sure it's on the lower part of the back and get in a plank type setup. So hands here, and then from there they can do a toe tap. So what that is doing is because that's pulling your lower back in, you're having to really use those abs to push against it. You can run in place from that position. Um, tons of stuff you can do in that particular setup. But just be creative. Use those kicks, those punch combos, and mix it up for them. 